Especially in this day and age, everyone can do well. You just have to be smart with it. Are your cousins doing well or no? Oh, the same he did. Then you know you can't hang out with your cousins no more. So you know what I learned, which is very hard? You have to make a sacrifice. And it's, it's nice to have a good time, but it's better if you sacrifice yeah. now and then have a much better time the rest of your life than have only good time now, because then you're going to have hard life yeah. the rest of your life. You just gotta put some work in it, man. You can do it though. I'm telling you. I, I'm only saying all these things or pitching it because I want I want you to do well. Yeah. I want you to do well. And, and you can do well. You have to understand me now how much frustrated I am. For like, sure. Yeah. Imagine when I come from work, like I want you to go school, come home, eat dinner together. You know what? I know what you mean. But you know what? No one's gonna help you but you, man. You can do it. You can do it, trust me. A little bit of hard work. There's a big saying, a little bit of hard work hasn't killed anyone, so. <laughs> because you see how, how, my, how, my, how I work hard, you know. Like it's not easy to Not work. easy, no. Especially now, you know. We're gonna do a little check. Anything sharp here? Uh, I don't feel like Down here? Uh, nothing. No. Over here? Nothing. And down here? Nothing. That is in there, look at that. <laughs> so let's get all this out of the way. And, you know, thank you, Jonathan. I hope when he starts to school, we come and visit. For sure, anytime. I promise. Please, It'll make me happy to see that you're going to school and, you know, trying to do things better. And I know you can. You're, I can see it he's in your smart. face. You know what? To be honest with you, he's a smart boy. Don't tell me that. You're smart? No, like smart that. and lazy. You can do well? I like that. You're just lazy. Yeah. It's just lazy. It's a fruit. But you know what? It's just you haven't found that motivation yet. You gotta find Thank that you. you gotta find that motivation. Whatever it might be. Getting a girl, driving a nice car, having yeah. a nice house, whatever it is, but you have to be motivated. You gotta fight. Nowadays they're, they're different. they don't need a man like that. I don't believe them. You know, I mean, at least. You know what's good about your mom? She tells it as it is. She's hardcore, isn't she? <laughs> no, I, I tell him, I swear to God, two girls once, you nobody. Know, girls this is this is a man to take her a movie, dinner, nice car. Right? It's true. If I was young, I'd do the same thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah, when Ooh, I Ooh, look at that, this. big boy. Look at that. Ooh. See the hole? Look how much was underneath the skin. Completely trapped. So you, how bad was it when you went to the other foot clinic? Uh, oh yeah, it was worse that time, yeah. It was worse than this? Yeah, like even when I was like sleeping, sometimes like I lay wake up out of my sleep, like I could feel it. Like, and again, when they saw it, they, they did not suggest permanent. In yeah, four, my not. four months is went back, right? I was back when you did what? May? June? May is when I did it. It started when coming back like May. September, I think. Right? No, before September. What or September? Maybe the summer or something. When I, I came back, June? I think July. July? August. In two months yeah. later. So, so they numbed the toe. Yeah. And then, did they do a straight cut like I just did, or did they just cut in an angle? Do you remember? No, I don't remember that. What do you think they did? How did it look afterwards? Uh, I don't know, like the nail looks kind of smaller than this when they took it out. Smaller than this? Then, yeah. Which oh, then that, okay. So, so we took out those corner pieces very wide. You know, and if I saw you the first time, I would. Uh, when I saw you the first time, I would have said, I, and I did say, you got to do something more permanent. Because when we have all that overgrown skin, yeah, yeah. it cannot heal on its own, unfortunately. It gets too trapped. So, corners are free. I put the acid in those corners, nothing is going to grow back. The skin will completely heal on the sides, it will not climb the nail, and that's it. Now you can go back to school, you can focus on study. Nothing will bother you. Don't have to worry about the toes anymore. Well, that's it. You're done. Yeah, we're putting the acid. That's it. Wow. 
I was <laughs> expected that. Wow. That's it. So the nail's gonna be skinnier now, but this is gonna prevent you from ever getting an ingrown again. Is he have to come to check? Yeah, We're gonna do an appointment okay, that comes in. There's no charge, it's part of it in six okay. weeks. Okay. So we're gonna come back in six weeks. Okay. Oh, yeah, uh, how long would I have to wait to like, do anything like sports or something like that? Whenever you feel comfortable. I tell people, take it easy if you can the first week. And then after the first week, if you feel comfortable running around, then, then do that. Again, you've been playing basketball with the toe like this. Yeah. So this is gonna be way better. Not before, like uh, after I got the medicine, I was. Okay. Yeah, I, I know. I know it's not easy nowadays for young people to figure out what to do, but I tell everyone just just do something and stick with it because it's not gonna be easy. Everyone's looking for something. Oh, I have so much passion. I love doing. It's not like that in the beginning. No, you just gotta do something, stick with it, and then see what else happens with it. And then. You know, uh, the, uh, where I, I work, Jonathan, before, if I do 10 offices a day, believe me, now I do it maybe two or three, because I'm getting older, mm. right? And then my thing is not like, you know, yes. the same thing. Yes, like yeah. Always. Your tank is smaller now. The energy yeah. is hard to do that many. Yeah, because yeah. I can. But like when we do like office, we use the machine, right? I do three, four office, work six, three, three, even we take out the stuff outside. Only ladies, like wow, wow, my, wow. now we all go down, 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 down. Like, you know what? Yeah, yeah. We're not that, uh, uh, like before, imagine if I have a good job, office or something, I won't get tired. But I didn't go to school, I work this, that's what I get. But so what's the, what's the main thing that you feel is holding you back? Uh, I don't know. Hey, it's okay. It just you don't feel like doing the work. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know what? It's very easy to feel unmotivated and lazy, especially honestly with everything that happened with COVID. A lot of people in the oh same boat. Oh my God! Yes. But yeah. you just gotta push yourself. You got a good mom. Your dad's pushing you too. I'm pushing you. I like. I like. You can. You can do it. Good. You just gotta do it. You just gotta do it. And it's not gonna be easy. And that's normal. And it's not going to be fun. And that's yeah. that's normal. You just got to do it. Life is not easy. After this, you're going to go home. And you're going to start like, thinking about courses and what you want to do. Business, marketing, advertising, tech. It's where you want to be at. Yeah. Then during school, you can find people who have the same attitude as you. Maybe start some oh, side business. Or maybe start business after school with them. And you're set. Then the fun begins. So I'm actually gonna get one last thing to clean that up. So that's all done. I'm gonna show you how to clean it up, uh, how to dress it in a second. I just wanna get some of this dead skin out. Again, this is not gonna hurt. You haven't felt anything so far? Yeah, no. Just wanna get some of this dead skin. Abnormal tissue. Yeah, look at that. it took me seven years to learn how to cut a toenail. All that work just to be able to cut a toenail with a license, it's crazy. But, you see, it's, it's just what you gotta do. It's paid off, right? It's paid off. And you know what? You proud yourself, right? And my dad did this for 30 years, but you know what? It's not like I wanted to cut nails, but I looked, hey, it's gonna give me a, a, a living, it gives me a job, provides for my family, that's more important, so. And then I learned to love the job. I learned to love it afterwards. So this is how you're gonna take care of it at home. You're gonna put antibiotic cream on both sides. Okay. The first couple days it might bleed a lot, that's normal. Oh, okay. So you're gonna use the gauze, and wrap. Oh. Now, after two or three days when it's not bleeding anymore, you can use just the cream and a Band-Aid that's in the little bag I gave you. Oh. You said after three days? Uh, yeah, after two, three days, then you can just use a cream oh. and the Band-Aid. Is it okay if I just like leave this one for like two, three days? No. We want to be changing this morning and night. Oh. So you, change, you have to change tomorrow morning, right? Here, um, here, here. 
you, no, that's the cream you have to buy yourself. Okay, okay, no problem. Now, again, that was a very infected toe. I can see it already wants to bleed through. Completely normal. We're going to leave this on for tonight. Okay? I'm going to put on a little bit snug. If it bleeds through this dressing, we just take it off, put a new one on. Oh. You might have to change it a couple times today, tomorrow. Normal.